Hey guys, gonna do a quick video today. Um, so I'm reaching the horsepower where I need to start pinning the crank. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I get any further. So this is your kit right here. So basically, when you get the radiator out, the fan out, and the support, and take the um, bolt out, you put this like that. You can either use the old bolt and push it in, or some kits actually come up with a bolt where you can use, um, drill it. Make sure you go past the, the tape. So you got plenty of room to put this in because you want this to be flush with your crank. And then I'm gonna do a double pin. So I'm gonna take it out and do a 180 and do it to the other side. As you can see, I got two pins for. Um, if you watch some of the videos online, there's a guy that does it. I think he's called Speedy Garage. He uses a right angle drill. And all he does is take the fan out and move the support back but I don't have a right angle drill. So I'm actually gonna take the whole front clip off the car, drop the radiator support, which is four bolts underneath and pull everything down. Um, I took the front end off before to put the intercooler on, as you can see. So it's not that bad. There's two bolts inside the fender that you gotta pull back the uh, shroud. Right here, there's a bunch, uh, bunch of uh, clips on the bottom. If you never took your, never changed your oil, then there's like a couple of clips. There's two bolts that come off and there's a, side, a couple of side clips on the tires that come off. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. So this is the first part. I'll kind of post as we go so you guys can see how we're doing it. And then when the front clips off, I'll show the radiator, not radiator, I'm sorry, the intercooler. So you guys know what I did and how I mounted it and everything else and we had to cut off the, uh, the front grill on the bottom. Got any guys got any questions? Let me know and hopefully this helps you guys. You are taking the front grill off. Of course you gotta take these plastic peats off and then these clips right here. You have to take those off. I took them off by accident so I'm gonna put them back in. Then you got a 10 millimeter bolt. I don't know if you can see right there. And right there on both sides. And that's all you need to do on the top. And then on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four clips that need to come out. You're gonna need a screwdriver, a small Phillips, because they look like this. And you need to push it through. And some of them break because they don't always stay in, as you can see on that one, kind of popped out. But I can slide that one back in and reuse it. Um, then once you push this back, I don't know if you can see it. There's a bolt right there. It's a 10 millimeter. You got to take out there and one, sorry for the glare guys, one right here on each side you got to take out and then you can just pop this out and then your whole front end will come off. Um, you do got to take the little, you don't have to take it off. You just got to take these bolts off up front that connects it to, I took it off cause like I said, I already had my other piece. I did an oil change a couple weeks ago. So I already had that one plastic piece off. So I just took the whole piece off. I just felt it was easier. Um, and then when you get on this side, the passenger side, there's a wire harness that connects everything to your front bumper. You need to disconnect that, so be careful. Um, I did it by myself the first time I put my intercooler on. It's a little difficult. My brother's here now. So he's gonna help me and take that one piece off. And then I'll do another video to show you guys the intercooler set up in the water pump. I mean, not water pump, but the pump for the intercooler. Thanks for watching. Turn the uh, front cover off. Here's my pump I was telling you guys about. And then here's the intercooler. Here's a little connector I was telling you got to disconnect to get the front end off after you get all the bolts off. Um, if you take this off, I drilled in two bolts on top. I don't know if you can see them. Right there and right there to mount my intercooler. Like I said, you guys, you're gonna have to cut some of your front. As you can see, it's upside down, but there's a piece that goes right here that I cut off and over there. And then I had to cut some of the wiring back so I could actually get it in there and actually do what I need to do. So hopefully this helps you guys and I'll continue to post another video. Thank you. So once you disconnect the fan, I gotta take this top radiator hose off 
And that's everything should be on top where the radiator and the fan should slide down. So when you come underneath here, if you look, there's two bolts on this side. And pull this back and there's two bolts here. Once you take those out, this cross member for the radiator should slide down with the radiator. You don't have to unhook the lower radiator hose. As you can see, it's right there. It's got plenty of room. You can just move it forward a little bit if you need to, the hose, and they'll slide right down. All right, so this is uh, part four, and uh, hopefully the next one I'll show you is us actually work on the crank. This is video number five. We already got one pin in already, so we did, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do, I got one right here. Once I take this off, I'll show you guys, and now I'm gonna drill the next hole right there. We already got our drill bit marked to where we need to go to make sure it works perfect. And then here's our second pin that we're putting in. Uh, everything seems to be going good. Uh, we gotta use a breaker bar to break loose the crank because my impact wasn't strong enough. And I got a big torque wrench that we're gonna use to tighten the, the foot pounds properly. Hopefully this helps and I'll do another video here in a little bit to show you guys what the two pins look like. For six Thanks. guys, you can see the bottom pin, the upper pin. We just took the piece off. Now what I do is just to make sure I got enough length, I put a screwdriver in here, put my finger where it comes out, and that's where it needs to be. So on our pin, I'll show you. The pin just goes past the black, so we're way good. Um, also make sure you spray that hole out with like some fluid or anything to get all the debris and everything out. And then, a key point is make sure you get a brand new bolt to put back in there. And I know it's not perfectly 180, but that's close enough for now. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this is the last video. She's in, torque the spec. I did a little extra just because I got the supercharger on top. So I went by the Hellcat specs. Um, I believe it's like 148, and then you do another 150 degree turn to make sure it seats in. Or you can go with the old spec of 228 foot pounds of torque. So I'm gonna put her back together and crank her up and see what happens now. Thanks for watching.